Visceral leishmaniasis in many ways is similar to malaria. It's transmitted by an insect. Uh, it's a parasite that gets in the body, it gets in the liver, spleen, liver. It's 100% fatal if, if it's not treated. Unlike malaria, where a lot of people recover from it, Kalazar, you die from the disease if you're not treated. Traditionally, people who've gotten the disease in the village have not been properly treated. They stay in the villages and they continue to transmit the disease. So that's been the situation of Kalazar for many years. That has really started to change now, that there are much better treatments, much better diagnostics. But what hasn't changed is the knowledge in the village isn't there. People still don't know what to do when they get the disease. And that's where our project is working. Our project is working with Grand Challenge is to put some knowledge into the village so that people know what to do. And the way we're doing it is, is through training of village ashes, which are women that live in the village and look after the maternal health. And through this training program, ashes are now identifying uh, people with Kalazar and making sure they go for treatment. So this is moving people it's, it's moving into the village and moving people with the disease from the village to the treatment centers. I have been a community health volunteer for the last 10 years. I run a support group for pregnant women in the community and we meet every month. I'm able to share the benefits of using chlorhexidine with the women. I attend the mother group meeting. I get information on family planning, baby delivery, and breastfeeding. I'm so happy to have learned about chlorhexidine. We need the practical things in the communities because still we do have almost 50% uh, deliveries occurring at home. Okay, and most of the, our people live in rural areas. So many children used to die by the infection. Now, if you go to the program district and ask the interact with the service provider, they said, you know, we have not seen any cases after you know chlorhexidine use. I'll be back with you. Since we started using chlorhexidine, we have not seen any problems with infection, and neither have my colleagues. I am so happy and lucky to be a community health volunteer. I feel so proud to be able to help the women in my community. Even we can proudly say that we have already saved uh, 7,500 babies. We have visited three families where we saw people who used to live with their burden of mental illness like depression and epilepsy. We got three success stories where they are recovering and they recover. It's very rewarding. When we see these people, we get back to a normal life. To be able to deliver the care, it's amazing.